Well, g'day folks. I'm at Curdie's Inlet today at Peterborough in Victoria and I thought I would go along here and see how far I can get now. Peterborough, the Peterborough Bridge is just here. Peterborough Boat Ramp is just here. But this whole inlet is really, really shallow. So you can see the markers that go down and wind their way through. So this side, I'm right on the right on the edge of the channel. So it's it's deep as deep here. And this side, you can see it's like probably probably knee deep. So I'm gonna go down go down nice and steady and see how we go. I'd like to be able to get all the way across to where the river starts. This inlet it's a huge amount of water and it's full of fish and all sorts of cool things so I'd like to be able to get all the way to the river uh, all the way to, yeah to kind of where the river starts out of this estuary so we'll see how far I go I don't know how successful it'll be and I certainly don't want to get stuck on the sand because that'll just be a big problem so I'll just show you this I haven't left yet but the engine's sitting the engine's sitting in the sand and in the mud, so I'm right on the edge of the channel. Deep, very shallow. And I don't know how accurate these markers are. They're, they've been there for a long, long time and I reckon some are missing. But I'm sitting right on the edge of the channel here. And you can see that the engine is... Engine's in the sand. So, anyway get out of here. So you should be able to see the the edge of the uh, edge of the sand here as we go up the channel and then it kind of zigzags its way around and then in theory gets deeper but I've never done this before and uh, actually I've never done this before at all. I've been from the other end but not from this end up. Very nice though. And the sea's pretty rough today, so you couldn't go out in the sea, but here it's just beautiful. I see how far up under the bridge I can get on the way back, whether there's enough water. But I popped down to the boat ramp yesterday evening to have a look to see whether I was going to go out today, and the water yesterday was really, really murky and really kind of brown and gross but today it's beautifully clear so a lot's happened overnight water wise it's beautiful now so the Curdy's inlet so this is all this water and it's got such an abundance of birds and I'm sure you can't see it through the GoPro but there's swans hundreds and hundreds of swans through there there's pelicans in front of me over here there's more swans over in the far distance there's more birds it's just amazing. So much bird life. We've got little channels coming off the side here. Kind of little little gutters shooting off from the main channel. We're gonna zigzag our way through. And then the markers end. The markers end around here, so. I'm glad the water's pretty clear. I pushed myself off the sand before with the big extendable pole here. And it was kind of a little bit soft, muddy stuff on the top and hard underneath. So you should be able to push yourself if you get off the out of the channel a little bit and get stuck, but not against the wind and not if it's soft mud. But I can see that this, I can see the channel gets narrower here. You may not be able to see that through the GoPro, but it's kind of, there's sand that goes like this and the sand on this side that goes. So we'll have to just be steady. I have no clue about these markers. There's no colors on them. I'm really not sure where they go. And they're just fence posts. So, 
I don't know whether I'm supposed to turn up and stay in between them because there's not many of them and there's sand all around here I can't see the bottom but that doesn't mean it's not there I really have no clue no clue at all there's sand here sand in front of us very shallow there I need a stand to put this GoPro in because I don't feel like I'm doing the best job holding it steady it seems to be deep so I guess up here I'm going to turn right but it's very very odd channel markers We've got a little bit of wind too, so if I had to push myself off, I'd be going off the, push myself against the wind. So I'm going to go down here now. There's a big boat through there. They must have come up from the, they must have come up from the other end because there was no other boat trailer there. So there must be enough water for them over there. But it's certainly a bit sketchy here. It seems deep enough, but only just. I can see the bottom. So I don't know what happens when we run out of markers. I'm hoping that means... I'm hoping that means there's plenty of water. So... I'm feeling pretty confident after seeing that big boat that's going fast now. He's up on the plane and he's way over. So maybe he knows what he's doing. I'm still going to go slow. I, I was told years ago, if, you, if you're going to hit something in a boat, you're better off hitting it slow than fast. That sounds pretty reasonable. Anyway, we'll see how we go. So, no more markers now, but I will go right over the other side where that big boat was going fast so I could possibly use his track. He might know what he's doing. I'm actually not sure about this now. I put my extendable pole in and that's it. That's the bottom. So the bottom's, it's only that it's only that deep that deep so bugger if I know yep it's that deep so I certainly don't want it to get shallower I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do not sure if I get stuck I'm really stuck because how do you get off can't really push a boat this big by yourself against the wind fraction deeper it's up to my hand here but that's not real deep and that can change quick 
but I'm just not sure where the river would run into in order to make itself a bit more of a channel if there even is one or whether it kind of just fills up and the whole thing is shallow I really don't know I don't know where the best place to go is to try and get some more water see all the birds So many birds, they're beautiful. Oh shit, shallow here, holy shit. I can actually see the reeds. I'm actually gonna just reverse back a bit. That's terribly shallow. <sighs> Maybe it's just getting reedy, but it's... That big boat I saw was flying before. I don't know whether it's deeper over the edge. Because it was going fast. Well, I don't know if I'm going to go any further. I'm across, whether it was a good idea or not, I'm across the other side of the, the lake where that big boat was thinking there was more water. And it's actually the shallowest spot I've been in so far. It's only this deep. So this is where that boat was going up on the plane, shooting up there, super fast, in about a metre of water. Yep, that's the bottom. That's the wet part where my hand is, so. I don't know whether to go up there or not. I probably, they did, but that doesn't mean it's a good idea. I didn't see them stop all of a sudden when they ran up ground. It's shallow. It's nice across here though. And it's just, it's kind of still winter, it's just, just gone out of winter so there's a lot of water I reckon any other time of year there's probably less water so that'd be even shallower yep still that still that deep from my hand up it's a hard bottom now like it's definitely sand not so much mud Anyway, I might, I might go back. I'd, I'd like to go up, and I'd like to go around, but I don't think it's worth it, especially if I get stuck. If I get stuck, probably no one can even come and get me because they can't get their boat in here either. So I'll slowly head back the way I came, see if I can get under the bridge. Might be more water there. Back back over there that's where the boat ramp is all the big swans four and we've got hundreds and hundreds of swans over here they're absolutely beautiful when you'll be back at the channel so I've made it back to the channel which is good but these swans there's hundreds of other birds over here behind me, but the swans in front of me, just very, very nice. And there's thousands of them over in the corner. Beautiful. So we're going back in the channel now from the other direction. I feel a whole lot more confident this time since I've went through it on the way out. There's another boat coming to the boat ramp. I can see it from here. And the wind's starting to pick up a bit, but that's all right. So you can see the sand all through here. Sand in front of us.
I do seem to remember that someone told me years ago because these channel markers are just just fence posts I think I remember that a farmer or well, some farmers put these marker posts in one year when the when the lake was dry so they're definitely not official channel markers and I do recall that story so I think I'm right about that that the farmer put them in when the lake was dry I think that's how they got here so anyway some have got reflectors on them that one's got a reflector on it that one's got a bird on it and all the birds as well the birds and the swans all over here they're very very safe because people can't get to them because there's not enough water in a boat you may be able to walk across or take a canoe across you certainly can't get a boat in there it's just not enough water So we've got the boat ramp. Boat ramp over here now. And the Peterborough Bridge. So that's the, we're at the Peterborough Bridge now. And that bridge used to be wooden, made by hand. And it's pretty long, it's probably two or 300 meters long. You can walk across the sand at the moment you can see that there's kids so it's very very shallow but sometimes it's deep and there's a tide going through and sometimes even the salt from the ocean comes up because the river mouth's open when the seas are big enough so it's very nice and very safe to swim here in the right time of the year and uh, it's beautiful today it's pretty shallow where we are you can see the bottom but it's very very nice and we came from down there and we're on the other side of the lake, so we've got people fishing over here. People with their dogs. Very nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll take the boat out and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, g'day folks. If you want to watch my most popular video, I'll link it up here to my left. You can check that out. If you want to go to my course called The Gold Chart, which will help you achieve everything you want in life, whether it's uh, financial or relationships or goal setting. You can go to my website at billgray.net and look under the shop category. The course is called The Gold Chart. See you in the next video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, that way you'll get notified to all my new videos when I upload them. And if you want to contact me, you can do so through my website. The link's in the description below. See you next time.